Catherine would enter London with her husband as part of a large procession of 30 September 1662. She would arrive at the King's Palace, where he mother-in-law, Henrietta Maria would await her with other members of the English court and nobility. Henrietta Maria would grow to love Catherine, but history would show that Charles' thoughts were elsewhere which was evidenced by his string of lovers. Catherine's thoughts on the marriage were unknown, whilst her mother was more than happy to secure England as an ally for Portugal in their fight for independence. Catherine though would not be a popular public choice as queen, being a Catholic she was prevented to being coronated and was forbidden to attend Anglican church services which did not go down well with the population. But as Charles's affection for Catherine grew, the English population view of their queen would change. Catherine would have at least three pregnancies with her husband all of which resulted in a miscarriage. In 1663 she would even believe she had given birth during a severe illness, which resulted in Charles comforting her that she gave birth to two sons and a daughter. After her three miscarriages Catherine was deemed unlikely to give birth to an heir. Advisors sought Charles to divorce Catherine, especially in order to find a new Protestant wife. Charles would refuse this advice and Catherine would remain faithful to her husband throughout her marriage. Charles though would still have children to many mistresses, but these mistresses were commanded to show Catherine with respect at all times. Although, Catherine would have to face Barbara Palmer, first Duchess of Cleveland, as soon as her marriage had begun. Barbara would provide Charles with a son in 1662, which would see her promoted to Lady of the Bedchamber in opposition to Catherine. Barbara would go on to have four more children with Charles over three years. Catherine would threaten to return to Portugal until Charles would remove her Portuguese retinue at court, which contained between four to six priests due to her Catholic faith. Afterwards, Catherine would back down but would have little involvement at the English court. In 1670, a shy Catherine would attend a village fete in Audley End with her ladies-in-waiting, but as soon as word spread that she was in attendance, which drew large crowds she was forced to make an exit. In 1678, Catherine's position at court would be threatened by the Popish Plot. The Popish Plot, was a fictitious assassination plot of Charles II to put his Catholic brother, James II on the throne. Charles, and the House of Lords, many of whom knew Catherine, would refuse to impeach Catherine for any role in the plot, knowing that Catherine could never be a threat to her husband. Catherine would also use her influence to protect the king's new mistress, Louise de Kerwale, Duchess of Portsmouth, who had always shown Catherine the respect required of her position at court. Charles, would pass away in February 1685 at the place of Whitehall, leaving Catherine a widow, and the throne of England to Charles's brother James. Whilst Charles was on his deathbed he asked to see Catherine, who sent a message to beg his pardon if she had offended him all his life. Charles reply alas poor woman, she asks for my pardon, I beg hers with all my heart, take her back that answer. In the same year of Charles's death, his illegitimate son, James Scott, 1st Duke of Monmouth would lead a Protestant rebellion against James and the Catholic Church. The Duke of Monmouth would be arrested and executed following the Battle of Sedgemoor. But Catherine, a Catholic would appeal to James II for the Protestant's Monmouth life without success. Catherine would remain living in England throughout the reign of James II, and the glorious revolution led by William III and Mary II. Her stay was mainly due to a protracted lawsuit due to money owed to her by Henry Hyde, 2nd Earl of Clarendon. Her relationship with William and Mary would decline due to misunderstanding due to her Catholic religion and her increasing isolation at the English court. This would see Parliament cut the number of servants within her household.
she would eventually return to Portugal in 1692. Between 1701 and 1705, she would act as a regent for her younger brother, Peter II until her death. She would die at Bemposta Palace in Lisbon on 31 December 1705 and was buried at the Pantheon of the House of Braganza in the Mosteiro de São Vicente de Fra in Lisbon. Although being a quiet and seclusive monarch, Catherine would be responsible for the introduction for tea drinking for the English population. It is also thought that the Queen's Borough of New York is named after Catherine as the area was formerly known as Queen's County in 1683 and the area now known as Brooklyn was called King's County after Charles II.